guys today it's an amazing day it's my favorite day of the year and some might say well Christmas is a great day some people might say Easter some people might think their birthday New Year's Eve but nope not me my favorite day of the year is when I have to go get my mandatory annual medical check here in China that's sarcasm. Yeah, it's fairly invasive, actually. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, they take blood. For some strange reason, they put a Q-tip up your backside. Not really sure what they're testing for there, but uh, it's not comfortable. And the interesting part for me, well, really for everyone, but <clears throat> there's no privacy laws around, like, medical or DNA, or any of that type of thing. So, I mean, technically, I'm giving the rights to my DNA to the Chinese government, in a way. But it's the price I have to pay to work here. Uh, if I did not comply with the medical test, I would be uh, kicked out of the country. Well, actually, I would <clears throat> not be allowed to work here. I'm not sure I'd be kicked out of the country. However, since I'm on a work visa, yeah, I guess that would make me pretty much kicked out of the country. So, anyhow, I've delayed it as long as I absolutely can. Uh, I should have done this months ago. So, I finally got an ultimatum from work, and they said, you need to go do this. So, I'm on my way to get a mandatory medical test. Thank you very much, China. before I came to the medical check is get a like a visa passport photo. I will say one of the cool things about living here in China is every metro station has one of these. Let's see if I can get it behind me, which is a it's like a photo booth um, where you can print you can print photos right here, like visa photos, uh, passport photos right here in the metro station. So that's what I did. Yeah so there's tons of conveniences living here in China. There's inconveniences like mandatory medical checks, but there's also a lot of stuff that is a pain in the ass in the U.S. that you can get here pretty much by yourself, you know. I remember in the U.S. every time I wanted a passport photo, I'd have to go to the post department or the um, postal service. I would have to go to like a Kinko's or I think some like pharmacies, like a Rite Aid or something like that. Here, I'm already on the metro. Swing into one of those little booths, three or four dollars, I have my pictures. I have no idea where I'm going with this medical check. There's only one stop on the metro from my house. 
but I have no idea. So I gotta put the camera down, I gotta get my phone out, and I gotta navigate myself there. So the one thing that I do love about inconveniences like this is it takes me to a part of the city I've never been to, uh, which I've lived here over a year now in Shanghai, but there are still, it's such a big city, it's such a big city, and I get into my routines, uh, so, you know, I don't probably explore as much as I still probably should. Uh, I'm not from the city, obviously. And even though, like I said, it's been a year and a half, there's still tons of spots in the city that I've not even seen. So this is one of them. And, and, and it's super close to my house, which is crazy. Uh, but oh crap, here it is. Seriously, I hate doing this. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I know it's not that big of a deal, but this is one of those adulting things. I'm 45 years old. You'd think I'd be used to being an adult by now, but certain things just I don't know I just don't like doing it so anyhow here I am they will probably not let me fill them inside but I will try to at least get a little bit of it so you guys get a flavor of what this place is like I'm here let the torture begin all right blood drawn step on yep the rumors are true you get a Q-tip in the rear. Little old Chinese lady didn't speak English, so we did charades, and she uh, pantomimed me taking out my pants, bending over and spreading my cheeks. And once I was in the position, she quickly and expertly, thank you, inserted a Q-tip. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's a strange day. All right, so just finished up with a medical check. I am 100, well, okay, first of all, let me back up. It was pretty painless. Uh, they took some blood, they shoved the Q-tip in my rear, uh, and then they took a chest x-ray. And that's it, and they sent me on my merry way. So. I am 100% convinced at this point that this has nothing to do with health. This has to do with collecting biometrics, DNA. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was so rudimentary and so fast. I was there for 10 minutes uh, to think that I checked in, I gave away my blood, a woman stuck a Q-tip up my ass, took an x-ray, and now I'm back out on the street and I can continue on with my day total harvesting of DNA and biometric data. I have no idea what they're doing with the DNA. I have no idea what the Chinese government would want with my DNA, except, here's my hopes, is that they make a race of genetically engineered clones that look exactly like me, have my dry sense of humor, but can, you know, like fly and teleport and lift cars off, off of people, stuff like that. So. I'm expecting that to happen, but I don't know, would I get a clone of my own? Because that would be awesome because then the clone could go to work for me right now. day, medical check, good day at work, busy. Now I'm finding through the crowds to get home, have dinner, do homework with the kids, and hang out. 